사람을 그렇게 죽여놓고 여섯 개의 게임을 모두 이긴 분들께는 그에게 상금이 지급됩니다. 에피소드 4 shows us the aftermath of game 2. Players are forming alliances in preparation for whatever game comes next. During morning roll call and breakfast, Daeok Su's gang decide to take a second ration from the PlayStation guards. He gets caught and is confronted by the player who didn't get food. Daeok Su beats the player to death. The PlayStation guards don't intervene and everyone watches frozen in horror. Ji Hoon shouts at the guards and at the gamekeeper looking for justice, but all that happens is an announcement that the player is eliminated and the money awarded increases. So, nothing in terms of consequences happens to Daeok Su for killing the player. This gives him and the other players in his gang the bright idea to wait until lights are out to kill other players and increase their winnings. In all honesty, what do you expect in a contest where you play kids games and can potentially get killed for money? I'm shaking my head at Ji Hoon because he expects decency and concern from guards that do what they're told and a gamekeeper that allows all this to happen. Things get crazy violent in this episode and it's definitely not for the faint of heart. The special game is stopped when the old man shouts for everyone to stop killing each other. Now I'm giving the old man the side eye because once again he shows that he has the power to get people to play and get people to stop. I wonder if he's responsible for the games or if he's one of the higher ups. Meanwhile, I'm watching the detective ping pong around the facility all willy nilly and I'm just waiting for him to get discovered and get killed. Everything that happens for him is pure luck and sooner or later, it will run out. Another interesting subplot of the series is a secret operation of PlayStation guards that are harvesting organs with the help of Player 111. It's like a secret op inside a secret op. They're harvesting those organs and probably selling them for thousands upon millions of won on the black market. If you really sit down and think about it, the players that aren't being harvested are being cremated. They're already dead, why not use those organs to help someone in need? The only thing I wonder is if the doctor knows healthy organs from bad ones or is he just making a quick buck? How do they expect to keep this operation going if the doctor is killed or if he wins the game and has to leave? I don't think they thought that through. I guess they'll recruit another doctor? For the first time in a very long time, I actually got anxious at the end of this episode. My stomach was in knots and I was probably gripping the edge of my couch. I also didn't appreciate them leaving me hanging either. What a great episode! Things are happening fast and players are being eliminated each game. I have my core players that I'm rooting for, but with five episodes left, I know that everyone won't make it. This game eliminated half of the players and I wonder how many will get eliminated in the next game. I love this episode. I love the violence. I love all the subplots. Everything is still a mystery and I'm dying to see how all of this plays out in the end. I'm still giving Sanwoo the side eye because he knows more than he lets on and he's very cautious about who he gives that information to. I'm also starting to wonder how close of friends were Sanwoo and Jihoon. If they are close, what is his motive for not sharing the information with his childhood friend? I feel like if the roles were reversed, Jihoon would tell him everything. Well, who knows? Anyways, I give Squid Game Episode 4 a solid 10 out of 10. So far, 4 in a row with a perfect rating. Let's see if the show can keep it up. See you next Monday for Episode 5.